Feed My Starving Children is a nonprofit organization that makes and provides meals to hungry children across the globe. They'll be at Villa Maria College tonight and tomorrow for their mobile pack event. We have Kim Kotz, the coordinator of the event, and a professor at Villa Maria College here with us today, yes. Kim. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about the event? Sure. Um, every day, 6,200 children die from hunger-related causes. That is one every 15 seconds. So this weekend at Villa, we are gathering hundreds of volunteers, and we are going to pack just over 100,000 meals that we shipped all over the world to help starving children. This is what we're packing right here. It's a combination of vitamins, vegetables, soy, and rice. Wow. Quick and easy, right? How, t tell us what it looks like when you uh, pack one of these up. Yeah, so once it's cooked, it, it actually looks and tastes like rice a mm. um, Our packing process is, is really very fun. We set up almost an assembly line type of a, of a fashion. Um, and we have music playing, and everybody's working together to pack. Tables start competing with each other who can pack <laughs> more. Um, spontaneous dancing has been known to break out. Um, it's really just a, a fun event, um, but it's very worthwhile. At the end of each packing session, volunteers are told how many meals they packed in two hours and how many children will eat for a year because of what they did. Oh, wow. So they leave really knowing the impact they made on children all over the world. You guys are having this event um, tonight and tomorrow yes. in person, which is uh, different than how things have been for a little while, yes? Yes, absolutely. We've done this at Villa for a number of years, um, but we have not since 2019, oh. obviously because of, of COVID, we had to cancel. Um, so we're excited to have this back. It's a wonderful organization and we'll have close to 500 volunteers this weekend, wow. aged five to probably 95. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, so it's going to be a great weekend. And of course, hunger touches all corners of this globe, including right in our backyard in western New York. Uh, I don't know if you know specifically, but where, were, where will these meals be going off to? We'll find that out a couple weeks after the pack. Okay. Um, right now, a lot of meals are being uh, sent to Turkey and Syria mm -hmm. because of the earthquake, um, to uh, Ukraine because of the war there. A lot of meals go to Haiti, Nicaragua, different countries in Africa, all over the world really so, are yeah. touching everywhere. Yes, absolutely. Are you still accepting volunteers? We need a few more volunteers for tonight. We have a packing session tonight from 6 to 8. Um, and so we need probably 10 or 15 more volunteers. We're, okay. Tomorrow we are full. <laughs> uh, so actually we're over full, which is a really good problem to have. So if anyone is interested in volunteering tonight, they can email me at Villa at kcots at villa.edu. Okay. But we're also still taking donations. Each meal that we pack costs just 25 cents to make. Mm. And so we have a fundraising goal of $25,000. So if anyone would like to donate, I gave you guys a link. Hopefully you'll post that. <laughs> you can just go online and, and make a, a donation. All and right. we would really appreciate it. Kim, thank you so much for chatting with us this morning. Thank, thank you. you. appreciate it. Stick with us. Mike updates the forecast when we come back.